We're going to take a look at our Atlas DDC that we use pretty heavily in the series. I really love big, slow, cantankerous mechs, and I have a tendency to slow down while I'm aiming weapons, so uh, it's kind of a natural fit for us. You can see that I have the standard engine that came with the DDC, the 300. I don't see a need to put in a smaller engine, I'm already so damn slow, it's kind of annoying. But uh, I don't see the need to get a higher engine because at best, even if we use an extended, or was it an extra large engine, which would take up one of our ballistics and missile spaces, which I'm not going to do, we would only be moving around like 64 kilometers per hour. And that's still kind of slow. I mean, it gives a little bit more survivability, but I lose a lot of my weapon space. Ideally, with this type of mech, we want to tank and be kind of the, the glue that holds the rest of our team together. Um, and we can still do a lot of damage to other assault mechs and things of that nature. I usually, faster mechs will usually get the killing blow on a lot of uh, others, but we get a lot of damage in and we're definitely threatening on the battlefield. So, our compartment off to the uh, right or left, depending on your viewpoint relative to the mech, is currently an AC-2 and an AC-20. The AC-20 does a lot of solid damage in one small um, go, so if we're peeking around a corner, we can tag someone pretty heavily before they peek back in. Um, now, the weapon itself has a lot of uh, hit points, so it's pretty hard to destroy. And, of course, you can see how many critical slots it takes up, damn near the entire compartment, so it does fairly often get critted. Now, the AC-2 is a different beast. It fires very rapidly. It's similar to our Ultras, other than it doesn't jam at all, but it generates a fair amount of heat. When I'm firing these, I have to back off a little bit sometimes to use my PPCs. Now, this has about the same damage per second as our P both of our PPCs, but the, um, the damage is kind of spread across because I'm doing multiple rounds that are hitting different hit compartments, but they're kind of centralized in a region. But our PPCs will hit directly on one unit and damage that. And in Mech Warrior, you definitely want to be able to blow out somebody's compartment rather than doing a lot of general damage. Because once you get to the internals, you start to shut off their weapon systems, you affect their mech pretty um, badly, you destroy weapon caches, and there's a lot of other things that cause just havoc. You want to get in there and tear up a particular location as best you can. Now, this location is fairly well known on the Atlas, and unfortunately it means a lot of other players will target it because they know this is where the bad stuff is usually kept. Um, so this compartment will usually get blown out right away if I'm standing still. Now, our arms just hold the PPC and another double heat sink. When I'm using large lasers, they manage to fit another double heat sink on here. And our other arm is fairly similar as well. I have a little bit extra AC2 ammo sitting over here. I've only come across um, a few instances where that ammo detonated, and I'm not really worried about it. If a PPC arm goes, it's not huge. I'm already pretty far into the fight. Um, depending, I may take this out in the future, but so far it hasn't been really a liability. I just don't want it near my torso. In our missile compartment here, when missiles were good, I used to arm this with LRMs. I really do like LRMs. As a slow mech, I can kind of fire volleys over hills because it takes me so long to get there. And um, I do have an Artemis system currently installed because there's no reason to downgrade once you've upgraded. It doesn't really change anything else other than how much um, slots missiles take up. But right now, since the missiles aren't doing as much damage as I would like, uh, relative to direct pinpoint precision damage. It's sitting here for heat sinks in our Guardian ECM. Our Guardian ECM used to sit in one of our legs because our legs like virtually never get blown up. But uh, there's now a hit point, or is it a hit hard point restriction? So it generally sits in here. All right. So there's also a little bit of ammo that we save in the head. And MechWarrior has a strange loading mechanic. I don't remember this from previous games, but maybe it was like this. Somehow it draws the ammo from your head down, to your, um, down into your torso and then over towards the area that uses the weapon. So I don't know how the hell that works, but our heads are another item that virtually never gets destroyed outright, so I'm very... Um, I'm not very worried about an ammo explosion happening here. Mind you, if one did, it would be pretty catastrophic. Blow my head right off. Now, I had mentioned in an atlas, uh, I should say at least, uh, ah, in the atlas, uh, light mechs are a little bit different, but in the atlas, not a lot of people are targeting your uh, legs. Most of your uh, weight is kind of your upper body, and you're fairly broad, so that provides a lot of targets up there. and 
blowing an Atlas's leg normally doesn't do a lot of, like, anything. The Atlas is already kind of slow as shit, so there's no reason to slow it down a little bit more. You want to destroy it before it destroys you. However, a lot of Atlases will end up having light armor and ammunition in their legs because they never get targeted. I can only remember, like, one out of a hundred times where I've had a leg blown off, and even then it didn't really destroy my entire mech. I'm not sure how the damage translates to the main torso, but two, what is it, two compartments full of ammo didn't do enough to actually hurt my torso too bad. So for the most part, we put volatile ammunition in the tor was in the legs and have it somehow shipped up. And I don't know how the hell that works. It's kind of unrealistic, but what are you going to do? Um, but then again, ballistic weapon ammo, or I mean, requires that um, pressure to build up in the chamber. So I don't really see how... Um, non-missile weapons are going to blow up that badly, the ammunition at least. But they do, they, they full-on blow up for their full damage potential in that particular re region. So, uh, where are we here? So back to the central torso. You can see that um, this is our armor loadout here. It's pretty heavily shifted towards the front. Uh, not only are we going to be trying to show our front to people most of the time, but we're, end up, what is it? we're going to end up um, facing them while we're trying to shoot them. So the vast majority of the time, I'll end up getting hits on my solid front, even when I kind of swivel around. When I get severely injured in the front, I will kind of swivel and try to block with my arms, but usually I rarely die from hits to the back. So I've shifted the armor accordingly. You can see I have really light armor in the back, but that makes it really annoying for lights to kind of get behind me. But given our averages, it does seem like the front armor is much more of a um, priority. And you can see that we have pretty much full armor across the board except for our legs. It's just, um, I never really have legs blown out. So uh, it's not really an issue. We can save a few extra tons by uh, lowering it. And this is a number I'm comfortable with, is around 40. Um, and I will usually get through matches without having it more than um, two thirds damaged. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, uh, the structure is a standard interior, stru interior structure. We use a lot of space for those double heat sinks. And, um, what the hell is it? It wouldn't save us a huge amount of uh, tonnage. I mean, it would save us five tons, which is not a lot. If I didn't have the double heat sinks, I'd be using at least five more tons worth of heat sinks. Now, we can see that we, there's also this Artemis system back when we were using missiles. And Artemis is an advanced uh, targeting computer that allows your missiles to lock on a little bit faster and a little bit have a closer spread. And there's no reason to downgrade once you've upgraded, so there you go. Otherwise, standard armor, um, until they change something with the, um, the Pharaoh Fibrous armor, there's absolutely no reason I want to take up 14 critical slots to get 1.7 tons worth of room. It's ludicrous. It's not that effective as of yet. However, that might have been like that in previous games. I can't remember. I have played all the Mech Warrior games back in the day, but um, I don't remember this heavily. I think it was different because this is not very effective. But it is a still a uh, beta, as you can see. It's not released yet, so there's definitely more patches and things change around. And as the patches update, our build will end up changing here. Um, so there you go. Oh, I almost forgot. So this is what we use for modules. Uh, I love the advanced zoom. I, I, I don't like having to move through the different zoom modes of going to 1.5 times to 3. And I like being able to have a little bit of peripheral vision around the edges, but it's still kind of bad. Due to a issue with the game engine. They can't render another screen at another um, depth very well, so it comes all pixelated and it screws up our radar. Uh, then we have the advanced sensor range, which just gives us an additional 25% sensor boost. Um, it's not huge. I can shift it out with another module that I, I find useful in the future. Uh, but our real contender here, and I just got this recently, is the um, seismic sensor. It shows vibrations on the ground and it allows you to mech, uh, what is it? It allows you to locate mechs uh, via these vibrations up to 400 meters, which is pretty damn huge. Now, we use it differently in our, um, our cicada called Noodles because we use it heavily to scout and form our party where the, the other enemy team is moving and to make sure that we don't turn the corner and get shot in the face. With our DDC, however, we kind of wait for people to turn the corner and shoot them in the face. Uh, a lot of times they might not know that we're coming, um, and you don't show up on seismic sensors if you stay still. So if I park 
as a bunch of people are turning the corner, and you may have seen this in a video or so, I usually can get a few shots off into them before they realize what's happening, which is always good for me. It ends up uh, not only doing a good amount of damage uh, advantage on my side, but it confuses them a little bit. They worry. They try to back up. That's the best thing for me. I don't like them shooting back at me. So this thing is hella useful, but it is the damn same price as a... Um, and a, what is it? A, a light assault mech. It's like six million, and they may nerf it in the future. It is pretty powerful right now. So, there you go. All right, I lost him. But uh, yeah, you'll see how the guy was it. How we end up faring in this match with the uh, new build. Now, I've tried two AC twos and a very a few other different combinations that didn't really work out too well. Two AC twos generate so much heat that I really can't use my. Um, PPCs for very long and this build overheats too, but the idea is we can slap a lot of damage in before we uh, start to overheat yep, 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 yep. However, we are not a one-man army we will still get our shit kicked in if we end up getting surrounded We have very slow turn speed I still haven't elited the skills on this particular atlas, or I should say any mech. I haven't done it on any mech because the mechanic is bullshit. You have to purchase three different versions of the mech to do anything. And I want to save it for other new exciting mechs that are coming out, like the Battlemaster, the Thunderbolt. I don't want to be spending my money on different versions of atlases I'm not going to be using. We do have the seismic sensors on this. Um, that's hella useful for terrain that blocks line of sight because then I can aim at the target before they get there. Otherwise, uh, how you guys doing? Doing pretty well, hopefully. It's un been uncharacteristically uh, warm up in Minnesota. Got a little bit of a tan. I tan well, but then I'm a programmer, so I have no tan, then I go out in the sun for a day, and then I'm burnt. Really need to keep some lotion on me. Oh my god, they're all in the tunnel. It's, uh... Oh shit, got stuck on my friend there. I'm never gonna make that. I'm never gonna make that. I might as well just go with the f, f around. Do we wanna circle back behind? Yeah, I suppose. Let's. I know. Let's. By the time we get around the corner, our teammates should have started engaging. Oh shit, I'm a little bit worried now, actually. No, they should still start engaging. The idea is I don't want them targeting me because I'm the, by myself over here. Gonna shoot somebody coming around that corner. Maybe. Oh, you bastard Highlander! Alright, a lot of our weapons are on our right torso, so if somebody walks in front of our very broad right self, it blocks your shots. I feel bad that I shot the guy, but come on. All right, we're gonna do some pot shots around the corner here. It's very bold of him. Shit, I lost. I, I missed my shot. Alright, we're pretty damn toasty at this point. Uh, still gonna press the line. It's gonna be a bit tricky since we're so damn slow, we're kinda knocking heads with a lot of our other mechs in the region. There we go, there we go. Them running across like that is not helping, and somebody's jamming my damn ECM, so let's switch that to counter. Um, yeah, let's still stick here. I don't want to be... Some guy's going to eventually come over that damn ledge, I expect.
Oh shit, overload. <laughs> overload! Uh, a new change is uh, if you're over 120% heat, you end up uh, cooking in your own mech, which it should be like that. Um, shit, our weapons are still working. I don't really care about the ECM at this point. There is an Atlas that is coming around the other corner, but I have so many team members, I'm not really worried about that hugely. Actually, let's let's deal with that guy. Let's deal with that guy right now. My back armor is better than better better than nothing. So, um, come around the corner as she comes, as she comes, but come around the corner as we go. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, he blew off our arm. That's not good. That's not good at all. There we go. There we go. Uh, we only lost a PPC, so we're still in good shape here. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, um, so that's essentially this new build. I'm running a little bit scarce on ammo. Sometimes I end up not having quite enough, but uh, that's how she plays. I think we like it so far. Uh, we'll still play around with different builds, and of course the game is in beta still, so it's always patching, and stuff will change, so there you go. That's how we do. We did alright. Um, we've been doing decently, I suppose. I haven't been getting as many um, finishing shots as I do with the Ultras, but that's alright. We're still helping the team a lot, and there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you'd like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.